In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the Google Drive folder for your Google Classrooms. On the left hand side, we're looking at the teacher view of Google Classroom. So this is what you're going to see as a teacher. On the right hand side, I have a student account who is part of this classroom just so I can kind of compare and contrast what we're looking at. On the Classwork tab, you're going to see a link to a Class Drive folder. The students have a very similar link. They're named the same, but they have some very important differences. So here, if I view this folder as a teacher, what I'll find is a separate folder inside of Classroom for each of my Google Classrooms. So if you have three different classrooms set up, you're gonna have three different classroom folders. When I go into the classroom folder, I'll see a subfolder for each assignment in this classroom. And then if I go into the assignment folder, I'll see all of the attachments that are part of students' assignments. Now you'll note that as a teacher, you have access to all of the students' assignments. So if you have 20 kids in your classroom, each of them has a separate Google document that they're working on, you'll see 20 files. And to contrast that with the student side, if I click on the class drive folder, I'll see only my files that have been assigned to me. I'm not going to see other students' files and I don't see all of the same folders that you see as a teacher. So just to be clear, when Billy looks at his Google Classroom folder, he's not gonna see Amy's homework assignments and vice versa, it's kept private. You as a teacher sees everything, the students only see stuff that's relative to them. Now just to give you more information than you probably care about, if you select a file and then select the details icon, it shows you a little more information. So I'm gonna do this on both sides, the teacher view and the student view. And what you'll notice is the file on the teacher side is the actual file. The student file is actually a shortcut to the file that is on the teacher's Google Drive. Just to make it more complex, the student actually owns the file but it's stored on the teacher's Google Drive. I'm not sure you need to know that information, but it is kind of interesting to know how Google organizes all this information. I suggest not really messing with the files on the Google Drive, but instead accessing them through Google Classroom. But just so that we're clear about this, if I open up this file as a teacher, and I open up this file as a student, we are looking at the same files. And we can see files are updated live in real time. Again, I suggest not really messing with the files from the Google Drive, but instead interact with them from your Google Classroom. But just so we're clear, all of the files that are sitting in the Google Drive for your Google Classroom are not visible to all your students. Just because they're named the same doesn't mean that um, students are able to see everybody's information. I hope that helps answer some questions about the Google Drive or Google Classroom. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let me know if I can help.